Mozambican President Felipe Nyusi is on a six-day state visit to China. The African leader arrived in Beijing on Monday and is expected to conclude his visit on Saturday. The visit will include bilateral talks with Chinese leaders and separate visits to the export-oriented, economic, vibrant provinces of Jiangsu and Shandong. This is Nyusi's first visit to China and his trip has been hailed as a milestone in bilateral relations between the two countries. The visit comes after Western donors and financial institutions announced plans to suspend and development aid to Mozambique after it was discovered that government had a hidden debt of 1.4 billion US dollars allegedly used for acquiring Navy fleets and defense equipment. President Felipe Nyusi's visit comes at a tough time for Mozambique. The country is facing major economic security and security challenges. CCTV's Robert Nagila has this update. Thank you. Its gas, oil and coal reserves gave Mozambique a big advantage over many of its African peers. And they've drawn a lot of foreign investment, money, the country desperately needs to develop infrastructure. But these are tough times. Lower international oil prices are hurting, and Western donors have withdrawn support after the government admitted to hiding more than a billion dollars in debt. Now, the cost of living has also gone up, particularly bread and fuel prices, and there's growing popular discontent. On top of that, security is a major concern. Former rebel movement and political party, Renamo, has revived hostilities in recent months. Now, there's been fighting in the central and northern regions, and it's beginning to make a serious impact. Now, thousands of refugees have fled over the border into Malawi. And both sides in the conflict claim they've been atrocities. So then, difficult times ahead for Mozambique's president, and they could certainly use some good news this week in Beijing. Back to you. So earlier on, we did report that Mozambican President Felipe Nyusi is on a six-day visit to China. The African leader arrived in Beijing on Monday, and he is expected to conclude his visit on Saturday. Let's get more information now on this story from our correspondent Wang Hui, who's joining us live from Beijing. So what is the importance of this visit by Mozambican president? Well, it will be Mozambican President Philip Nuzi's first state visit to China. His six-day visit runs from Monday to Saturday. He has scheduled bilateral talks with Chinese leaders and separate visits to the Jiangsu and Shandong provinces. These are both export-oriented and economically vibrant areas. The leaders from the two countries will exchange views on strengthening mutual political trust, pragmatic cooperation in all areas, and the regional and international issues. Mozambique first established diplomatic ties with China 41 years ago, as soon as, as it gained independence. The Chinese ambassador to Mozambique, Su Jian, said during an interview with the Chinese news agency that this trip will be a milestone in these relations. Su said that China will transfer knowledge, management and equipment to African countries. It will also help them build up their industries to add value to the area's natural resources. Also, Chinese Foreign Minister Wang Yi paid a visit to Mozambique in February this year. The two sides then agreed that their cooperation will focus on natural gas exploration, manufacturing, and they said they will begin by laying down the infrastructure, training professionals, and providing financial support. All right, so Wang Hui joining us live from Beijing. Thanks very much for that.